at that time. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Happy Monday, guys. I hope you had a good weekend. Go ahead and get everything all sorted here. My, uh... I went to unplug the light behind me and I accidentally unplugged the power strip with the modem and the router and all that stuff on it. <laughs> so now my browser's very unhappy with me. All right, it seems to be working. It says I'm live now. Okay, so, again, happy Monday. I hope your weekend went well. Hey, Bloodmasters, how's it going? Where did we end off? Uh, it's actually... 12th of September. Was it the 12th of September? Is that the uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire song? Where we danced all night and day? We have our, we got this on the ground, which is our strange life form, since they love the Arctic. That's fine. Try to get there in the day. Our tank scout is done. All right, this small rugged drone is designed for scouting and reconnaissance. Although lacking in offensive weaponry or the armor of larger heavy weapons platforms, it is fast and allows ground vehicle ground units to quickly scout out enemy enemy positions and act as a spotter, without risk to XCOM personnel. It also features a projectile weapon to be used against locked doors and possibly enemies. So, 55 time units, 15 health, generally poor armor, a nice shotgun with uh, 6 rounds. I wish I could see its stats from that screen. That would be nice. Alright, what are we working on? I think, yeah, we're just cleaning up. We have a n one network going. The Black Lotus follower going. We're cleaning out our... I might buy one. How much are they? 50 grand. All right, it's the price of an agent. Let's buy one tank. And we'll see. I want to see what its reactions are. It can hold six rounds, so we'll buy three full reloads. That's what it looks like. A slightly stronger parrot. If it had smoke like the, uh, the, the first scout drone from FMP, that'd be great. Then we'd totally buy it. I'd, I'd waste a troop. <laughs> for a scout drone ammo or for uh for smoke cold activity detected all right also in the arctic blue team let's take a quick look at you i'm gonna assume we did a shuffle since you're on the bottom of the list and i feel like what we should be doing i know it's sort of a pain but we should be uh swapping our leather coats and our vests between like, people going to Strange Life Forms should be wearing leather coats. And things going uh, to, like, cult stuff should be wearing the bulletproof vests. And this is a... Uh, oh, a safe house. I didn't even look. Okay. Black Lotus Network. Black Lotus activity is not limited to outposts. In fact, the interesting stuff begins a level above, within more permanent hideouts. These buildings owned by various organizations on paper but in reality belong to the Black Lotus only, function as local data centers, training grounds, and storage facilities. This is a big chance for us to capture a higher ranking member of this cult, but they'll probably be protected by a host of well-trained bodyguards. So there's that. A host is such an awesome word, no? All right, and then we'll send these two onto the Exalt Network. So we know our two networks, or our four or five networks. Bermuda, all right. Excellent. Let's go ahead and you can make it there in time. And you are not back, so we're going to wait for you to get back. Oh, also, uh, something... No, remind me after this mission we got... Uh, we got a, a, an unlock from researching the Kuryukai. It's We're not going to use it, but I'll go ahead and pull up the Ufopedia so you can see it. All right, what did we have over here? We have our Mac 10. We have our rifle for auto with his accuracy and his pocket shotgun. Better med kit. And Mr. Lightning. Yeah, those 56s. Maybe for the 56 we do the HK MP5. Oh, we are not supposed to be able to... You can't hear anything? <laughs> are you muted? It should be coming through. Yeah, I'm going. Um, right, we should not be able to buy the Black Ops pistols. 
that is a bug, so we have the ones we have. We'll just do it that way. We didn't actually buy any in the shop, so we should be fine. And can you pick up your ranged weapon yet? Yeah, good enough. All right, we can pick up a better med kits. Most of us, at least. All right, we're two and two. And we have no one around. One second, I'm just gonna double check. Can I say something here while the video loads? Yeah, it's you. <laughs> uh oh. Well, it's a nice wide open thing. I wanna see something spawn over here. And just run all the way across and kill kill a guy. We got our civilians though. Auto. I guess we'll be reaction shooting. I was gonna stay right there. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's our uh, big dogs. Yeah, our Fenrir roll. Did we actually kill one of these before? Zero to eighty-eight. Nice. Not bleeding. Our wolf wolves. I think. <laughs> Good job, Baltimore, dude. Good job, sir. Alright, I'm gonna grab another rifle for Agent Orange. We'll just swap that out. Alright. Should be enough. Does not seem to be going very far, which is good. And uh, just in case, just in case, come here, buddy. Thank you. You turned the shirt green. We hit him so hard. That yeah, that's right. He was right in front of us, wasn't he? All right, can you see him? You can see him. We'll just have everyone reaction fire. Since there's only the one. He does not seem to want to bleed, though. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Wow, we saved three. <laughs> ah, plus three reactions. I thought we'd get more, but I'll take that. Alright, we can actually check that out right now. No, we did not. Cool. All right. All right, so that's you. I'm going to keep an eye on whoever gets home first. We can do a nighttime mission for you. A nighttime safe house, I actually like the idea of. No, we're not. All right, safe house time. I'm going to give you something potentially daylight. I'll give you a better stun weapon. Close enough. Good. Mm. Hmm. I'm thinking about this one. We haven't had much luck with the taser pistol, have we? But maybe she's getting better. Her accuracy's getting up there. We'll do, we'll give it another go. And Cobalt's ready to go for sure. All right. So is it nighttime? No, but lights are making a difference. So number one, we need to find this safe house. Taking a gamble at where they're going to come from. Yep, 
There it is. Found it. All right. And who is this again? I don't know. An illegal goods activity safe house. Who are we facing off against? Oh, Red Dawn again. Oh, a Luger, it looks like. The Rack SMG. I'm gonna get some more AK-47s out of this. All right, BT. Just gonna go ahead. And... None of that. Cobalt. Oh, Cobalt and, and Nook have been separated. The dream team is over. Probably stun that guy. We'll let that guy. And we will leave the SMGs until they get closer. You have your buckshot, don't you? Probably swap you out. I think the other one is the, the Dagon in Bermuda. Thematically, that would make sense. All right, pistol, pistol, pistol. And the glorious pipe. Oh, hello. Do I need a lad? I don't think I do. Go, but he might pass out. I'll take that chance with that grouping. Well, you hit two out of however many that is. Can I maybe go that way? Just enough. Come on, you can do it. That works for me. I'll leave you alone. You're bleeding. If we can get everyone bleeding, that'll be good. Oh, you're killing me there. Brim. And let's go ahead and swap you out. For next turn. No one's sneaking up behind us, though, which is good. Get that covered. Wonder how they can see us, maybe him. That makes the most sense. Since you're here. Can we do that and get back? No. All right. You've been shot once before, haven't you? And you can see the Red Dawn Pioneer, which I think is this sniper in this combo. Yeah. Well, that works. That works. Hello. Canteen. Yeah, I'm kind of falling out of love with that guy. <laughs> Alright, ear bleeding. I am not too worried about you. Uh, I'm not worried about you at all. I guess I guess we'll go for that guy. He only has a bat. So we'll let him get close. Mm. 
Yes, get, come close. Come close. Hey, Firestorm, how's it going? I think the beginning, I think, might be a little bit harder than Pirates on one hand. But on the other hand, if you have a squad wipe, it is way less punishing because these things cost nothing, right? And you don't get a huge negative point loss for it. You just lose two or three, two or four guys. Although that said, we have not played uh, the new, newly, <laughs> the newly rebalanced pirates, because it has a completely different uh, start game. Oh, excellent! I actually want a pioneer. Oh, that seventy percent is nice. Do I need another ganger? I really don't. I think... I don't think that's changed. I still think you start with the van and you cannot buy another van. So if you lose the van, you have to go to a car anyways. But the van doesn't have a weapon anymore, so it's not that big of a as big of a deal as it was when we played. Uh, do I want to save you... Are you, uh, you're a lad. I kind of do. I think we're okay. Alright. I think we need more lads. I don't remember exactly. One. Alright, I'll leave you alive if you want to come walk over here. You just reaction firing. I think you are. Ah, you on the other hand, I could definitely kill you, both of you. <coughs> That's my girl Vanessa. Much better. You got your mojo back. I got myself a live pioneer. Sneak around. Gangers we can kill. Whoa, that guy absorbed a lot of Mac 10 shots. Can you make it? No. Alright. We'll slowly get out of our, our camping hole. That's more like it. That's how Mac 10 should work. So it turns out there is a bug in the current version of OXCE where if you use a shotgun, you get crazy firing accuracy experience. The old bug that was fixed originally somehow came back. Ah, oh, that's my girl. I will... Because he has a scorpion, right? I will take the chance that A, he can't hit me, and B, if he does hit me, I can absorb those shots. One, two. That pioneer is still alive. As long as those two stay asleep, I will be very happy. Check over there. All right. Cobalt, come hang out with your new teammate. Broomcon, your nook replacement. I think he did hit me. Ah, but I absorbed it. <laughs> so my gamble gamble's good. I'm going to let you bleed out. Uh, you're not really worth the chasing for me. you? No, I hit the fence behind you. Small wound. We'll fix that right up.
Now, low hit point damage, but two wounds on that. The med pack shuffle. Grenade would be great. Grenade right there would be awesome. All right, Vanessa, you are in a little bit of danger, but she is bleeding, so hopefully it's a wound in her arm. That's true. That is true. Oh, hello. You all right, Vanessa? All right, you'll survive. You will survive. Oh, more captors than I had planned for. I really could use more pioneers. Excellent. Try not to bleed out on me. Perfect. All right, you'll be out for a little bit. But you will get through this just fine. Alright, I have the bleedy guy outside. Better gun. Makarov, not really. Did he pass out? No, I don't think so. I'll take that. I'll swap that out. Kate, you're going to just assault that by yourself. Ah, never mind. There he goes. Three captures, one surrender. Plus 10 bravery on Cobalt. Excellent. Uh, so we did get a Luger. Two Lugers. Some more AK-47s. Uh, I'm going to sell those iron pipes. <laughs> and one more grenade. Oh my goodness. Storage base exceeded. That's been a, a while coming. Alright, I'll absorb that. Free up 0 0.04 space. We have a lot of corpses. Storm. Oops, not that. We can sell this, right? I got no uses for it. Big bone, don't know. Trauma kit, first aid, we could sell some. Which ones are these? We do not need that many in storage. <laughs> I don't know why you couldn't hear before. Uh, we just finished the outpost. Flashlight. We have not been using flashlights that much. They're nice. They're just too heavy. We have two smoke grenades. Two very precious smoke. Oh, do we put grenades in all our... I thought we were going to do that, too. We have not been using the agricultural flamers, either. Shotguns. We have a whole bunch of extra shotguns. Give me space. We have not been using these because of the time unit cost to fire. We have enough of those. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we want to have a full complement just in case. That's right. Mac 10s are good. MP5s are good. Uh, those aren't so good. Tommy guns are good. Can, we're not supposed to be able to buy these. Kludges, Magnums, and Makarovs. We have so many of these clips. Do, 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 do. We can sell the sabers and the bull hooks and the combat knives and the axes. Keep our iron pipe. Alright, and our tank came in. Or maybe not yet. 
And prison cell limits exceeded. Red Dawn Gangers. Alright, so we got all the ganger stuff done outside of uh, prerequisites. So we will sell all but one. Nope, we'll sell them all, because we don't really need them. Scout drone ammo. And whoever gets first, gets in first, will get the scout drone. We'll see how it works. We'll sacrifice one person to see how that goes. One, two, three. All right, shot like the Swede. <laughs> shot like the Swede at it again. And where is my scout drone? Oh, I can't put a scout drone in a van, can I? All right, answer that question. While I'm here, we have our grenades on each craft, too. All right, and Sukalos, you are also on this crew. We get there when we get there. Hopefully, this keeps it alive. All right, and who died in this crew? Oh, never mind. I thought there were three. Miranda, Nunez, Blackburn, and Dick Towers on this group. Uh, flashlight is a light source, basically a very a very large light source, and you can bash people in the face with it, but it's not very accurate. All right, Jim, we have one left who can train and one spot open for Agent Decovany. XCOM Paranormal Activity Unit General Strategy cannot make that any longer. Commander, apparently our effort paid off. The UN is willing to listen to us more. There is a big opportunity to undermine our enemies, so we should push onwards. After some consultations, I suggest our next step to be enlarging our on-site staff. Firstly, we need a proper chief researcher, preferably with a background in both biochemistry and exotic physics. Secondly, since we are clearly dealing with some extraterrestrial intelligence, we need a professional xenologist to uncover all their secrets. Then we need to tighten our cooperation with military circles to secure access to modern weaponry. And finally, we need a chief engineer to work on any artifacts we find. Unfortunately, we can't just kidnap them. They must come to us by themselves. Therefore, we should continue with our investigation work and hope we find out something they'll be too interested in to pass our cooperation. Or we just give them a big fat wad of cash every month. Chief engineer recruitment, xenologist recruitment. All right, I know those are next in the list. And we are going to... Why do I have these two as separate things? That's interesting. This one. And this one. Interesting indeed. All right. As I said, we are working on cleaning out our store since we are out of space. All right, we'll get these done. And I think it'll be time to go ahead and start a new research tier. There is a tank scout. I just thought we had it before. Alright, what crew is that? Not that one, it was this crew. Yeah. Two, three, just the wounded crew. One, two. Uh, Alright, the Coveney, a Jones, and a Francis York, and a scout tank. And the scout tank. All right, so I guess vans don't have the ability to wield an HWP. Living quarters at the double den is complete. Excellent. All right, we're going to go ahead and purchase. Uh, let's do, since we only have three, we'll do one dog and seven agents. No, this is a scout drone, so it's only a one by one. It's not a full tank. And then, wow, guys, on the list. <laughs> Good news for you. Let me open up my list, actually, while we're here. Good lord. So this new version of Windows has completely broken the, the search. Yeah, it's very much like a shiv. I'm sure we'll get our tanks later, though.
All right, here we go. So yes, yeah, seven will put a huge. There we go. My goodness. And there's a dog in that seven, so that's perfect. If you've never used the, sh the shivs in EU, you need to. If you ever have another playthrough, use the the hover shivs with plasma. Holy crap, they are amazing. Even on my impossible run, I used out use the hover shivs. No oh, daylight as it is. Actually, the the hover plasma shift saved my impossible Iron Man run. All right, this is just a capture, or not even a capture. A four by. Yeah, look at this accuracy. I feel like this is a very interesting get for you. Oh, that's why. That's my pistol setup. Six, seven. That's my shit vehicle setup. That's a good point, Bloodmaster. I, I I like the uh, I like the theory that we actually own the travel agencies. I'm living off of that one right now. All right, you can't pick up a heavier one. You can't. No, we're we're good. All right. Cover that door. Cover that door. Cover that. And you got the rifle. Shot like. Aw, oh, a wound. Shot like you can have this one. Exalt. Mm. <laughs> Damn it, exalt. Do we want them to come inside? Do we want to... I don't really need to capture any more of these basic exalts, I don't think. Mac 10 it up. Yes, the idea for this loadout is that the Mac 10 is very good at close range, and the Magnum gives like a medium range engagement profile. Oh, three wounds. Oh, you know what? It's good for the Swede, though. It's never the guys that can carry the big, heavy cases. All right, excellent. And you'll barely be out at all. 30 bravery anyway, so you need that training. All right, two down, two to go. Three down, one to go. Shot like, I want you to do something for me. Oh, uh, you can't see it. This is a nice way to know if you can actually uh, shoot that barrel with the LOS changes. There's our 51. It's not an LOS since it's half accuracy. All right. You try to capture this one since we know where he is. Uh, specifically, I win. <laughs> 35 minutes today. So not too much, not too much. We just had a, a hideout, a Red Dawn hideout, or a safe house. All right. This guy has a hunting rifle, so he can hurt us. But I think we'll be okay. Take a peek. Not you. He's in range. Use that, please. Can't quite make it. I guess shot like we'll just be on a reaction patrol. Oh, nice. Hello? <laughs> hmm. Very, very pe <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Where did you go? 
Where did you go indeed? Must have gone upstairs. Indeed he did. Yeah, one more shot. I'm just low on energy. I'm going to wait a second before we go up there. You know, we've had this problem. I don't know what it is, but like the last unit always runs away. I guess it makes sense, right? <laughs> There's some logic to it. CQC for the win. Oh, yes, plus trend bravery on the Swede. Uh, I don't even think we need that anymore, do we? Do I need to keep the Cyclone? I guess we'll keep it till we really need the cash. Or the space. And I think... We're holding on to you. Da, da, da. We have lots of dossiers left for you. The iron pipe for you. <laughs> for you. Wait, no, we have lots of dossiers for Osiren. That's right, we've only had that one Osiren mission. I'll go ahead and get rid of you. Congratulations on your promotion, Childlike. Everyone, this is Scorch. He is the creator of this amazing mod in chat. The monopoly on Cyclone and backed by wealthy people, the, the Exalt, is very influential. Its agents hail from all social strata, but generally it is governed by individuals connected to the political elites of the Americas. If we want to get to these people, we should locate their delegates who supervise Cyclone distribution, command the mid-level operations, and so on. Finding them shouldn't be too hard. I'll let you know if something comes up. Military envoy recruitment. Uh, yeah. I don't care if that's in the next tier. We'll go ahead and get uh, you and one on the chief engineer. I feel like those are holding us back right now. <laughs> I know, the old... Uh... Every once in a while there are those maps where they just can't get out. Black Lotus follower. Dossier, Rene Dialata. Rene? Is that how it's pronounced? Enforcer, a Black Lotus. Rene is one of the top guns of the AFP until the Siege of Marawi Rebels. Marawi? Rebels. After the siege, he found his family dead at their house, and the only found clue was an AFP cap. Out of anger, he wiped out the military installation where he once served. He is now in league with the Black Lotus. Interpol notified. <laughs> Maybe not really iron. Maybe it's alien alloy pipes. They're all scrounged from crashed UFOs. All right, let's get uh, the weapons researched since those are typically fast. Davao City. Davao City, that's a very Portuguese name. All right. Blue tea. And this one is a, this is apprehension. Well, Sucolos is only on for one more day. It takes so long to get back to base that half the time they're healed before they get there. The benefits of public transportation. Alright, the Luger. Uh, Alright, classic pistol design, commonly used in German army in World War One and Two. It was phased out due to complex mechanisms, but can still be found in the hands of civilians. Concealable. So just a standard pistol with a slightly accurate snap. All right, the Wakizashi, the short sword. Training finish for Otto. Congratulations, Otto. We'll give it back to Sukulos. The one state I care about is not listed here. All I care about is reactions. 
Auto is 92 accuracy. All right, excellent. So, agents. I'm going to welcome a whole board. I do have a lot of gear. Yes, I tend to bring more than I need so I don't have to re-equip the uh, car for each mission. All right, we'll go from the beginning. I need to see... Uh, it's In the future, please don't give me gender-specific names. <laughs> All right. This is going to be Philip Fosgene. And Philip Fosgene is Reaver of Darkness from the forums. Suit. Oh, we got to buy some armor. We got to buy a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Uh, followed by Philip is Private Hopscotch, who is known as Private Hopscotch <laughs> on YouTube. And then Theodore Landford. Theodore Landford, who is the T. Landford from YouTube, I do believe. We have uh, the dog, also from Private Hopscotch. Let's find the dog first. The dog is Toki Wartooth. Banting his times 0.5. Yeah, right, and also like a penalty, like a, a random extra zero damage roll for being uh, uh, too complex to properly maintain. All right, we have Zastaver. Zastava. Who is? Hearts it in. And he wants a U.S. flag. Oh, I spelled you wrong. Following him is Agent LaFour. LaForge. Agent LaForge. Hopefully he is half blind. Who is Dynamo Dose. And then we have Mr. Sand, who is Ampersand from YouTube. And we have Ambrosine's character, Peg the Leg, if you remember Peggy Leg from Pirates. This is her great, 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 great grandmother. All right. That is everyone here. Let's go ahead and purchase. Now we're going to be really low on cash, aren't we? All right. Speaking of selling Cyclone. Hold on one second. What else can we sell? I have, we'll send over some excess leather coats. Oh, one iron pipe. So we need tonfas. We can sell the lugers. I think for now, tonfas, tommy guns, mac tens, and armor for this crew. And we won't do any special missions with them as it is. We're gonna fund just like in Apocalypse. We're gonna fund much of our expansion with Cyclone. All right. We need dog armor. I wish we had like a, a UFOPD entry for this. Seven. We'll send over our leather coats. Eight. We're going to skip the taser pistols on this one, I think. The Tommy guns are so nice and cheap, too. I like, oh, this is the new one. The Minabia? Minabia? Minebia? Basically, it is the Uzi with an aim shot, and I think slightly better accuracy profile, yeah. And not concealable, which I think is actually surprising. Uh, the base will be easy to defend once it's done being built. I guarantee it. Mac 10s. For Mac 10s are also nice and cheap. Oh, 
what else do we use a lot of? We don't use a lot of shotguns anymore. We got a couple of these. Not often, but they are life saving when we need them. Healing spray. When did we get this? <laughs> when, did, when did we get healing spray? All right, we'll get some first aid kits. The most expensive thing here. And we are out of store space. All right, so we've used the integral store space, which is enough to get us going, which is fine. Perfect amount. Oh, it is concealable. Okay. That might be a nice conceal concealable SMG. All right, I'm going to buy some healing spray, because that is actually nice. There's our grog, or part of it. Maybe we put a couple. Nope. Oh. No, I have you go in there. All right. I think I might be mistaken, but I think this healing spray can be used on our own persons. Oh, you know what? I forgot to buy. I could really use a van. There we go. Nice and cheap. Public van number five. Green. This one's going to be called the Chartreuse Team. That's spelled right, Chartreuse. <laughs> yes, it is spelled correctly. Yeah, it looks like it. Crew, I'm gonna get the dog on here. See how the dogs do. Combat gear. We'll do our Kevlar's and let's send over. Oh, just stop. 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 Never mind. Alright, now do it. So, Boss Gene, Hopscotch, Lanford, and Toki War 2. I know you're gonna complain. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're missing a lot of stuff. We need storage space first. But I think uh, this is a good enough gear to get going. Plus we have a dog in armor. All right. Let that new team start getting experience. Watch, now nothing's gonna spawn. So in uh, Open XCOM Extended, you can actually give that tag to certain items. Strange life form. All right, so the idea here, right? We're going to start actually making use of the differences in armor. Green team. Like, for these guys, we should really be using leather coats. Because the odds of them having more melee damage is higher. Let's see, you can have some of our extra throwing knives too. And the extra kludges. Oh, you're out of space anyways. Alright. Uh, FMP is based on vanilla, so no, it would not work in FMP. Another daytime one. Alright, Agent Decoveny is apparently in our fire gear. Alm has been out since we're not using those. Unless he was in... Oh, he must have been in the... Uh... Alm must have been in the... Swimming mission. Sorry, I just lost my words. 95 accuracy. I'm gonna give you a rifle. Decoveny, do you want to stay with this gear? Work on your throwing accuracy? Yeah, why not? Black Lotus Follower. 
All right, you know, if it wasn't for your reactions, I'd rush you. The MAC-10 is a very nice wall opener. I really enjoy it for that. Just drills holes through walls. All right, so. On the off chance, there's someone right there. Actually, come here. Use that one. <laughs> we have no melee. I guess as a rifleman, you don't really need it that much. All right. And use that one. Nice shot. It didn't help, but still. Hmm. Oh. Well, you are actually harmless over there, so I will let you be. I mean, the Mac-10 is actually a pretty good. It's like baby's first m minigun. Why, hello, friend. Did you just... Haha, uh -huh, you did. Oh. Well, you too are actually rather harmless. And I can pick up this. Actually, you can gain some reaction points. Alright, well that's half of the bad guys already. I was gonna say, as soon as I speak up, it's a wall drilling potential that fails me. <laughs> I find the taser shot, like, if it can actually connect, is halfway decent. Are you stuck in there? No, you're not. You can get here. Not very efficiently, but you can do it. Alright, I know where you are. Hmm. We'll get him. We'll get him. Right in the middle. Just start a fire. Mm. Arr. That little dinky pistol, too. Nope. Up and over. There we go. Do you have a tonfa? You do. Do you have anything non-lethal? You do. And you have that joke of a taser. <laughs> Just attack, attack with your friend's body. What is your accuracy on this? 71 is not bad. You're getting there. What is the damage? Oops. Wrong one. 15 to 45. He's not coming out of the door. He knows we're here. All right. You. You. CQC for the win. We still got a wound, but that's okay. There's no one there.
Oh, hey, that guy died. We must have hit him. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, you don't have any med kits. That's the rule. The person who's going to heal does not have med kits. Perfect. Some reactions. And a little teeny bit of melee. We can sell those. And two more Black Lotus followers. Which we'll probably have to sell. But that's fine. I should build another prison. We'll do it in the new base. Can you make it there in daylight? No. Alright, green team. With your cool old matrix coats. See, I'm I'm hoping that the melee resistance will actually make these worth it. Ooh, E115 damage. Is that new? What do we got? Alright, got Scorpions and Bedouin. Two, three, all pretty far away. I didn't even look at what everyone was equipped with. So it should be fine. See if we can protect civilian. Actually try to save civilians. Four, fifty-two. Oh, you hit him. That's a plus. Oh, oh, oh! I see you. Try to sneak up on me. Well, that's just peachy keen, there, buddy. There we go. Who's closest? Well, 52 rel relates in a very large cone at that range. Three. There. I think you're the closest. Oh, now you hit. When I misclick, that's when you hit. Not bad, orange. You're doing pretty good. And let's let auto just hang out here. Any of you near another civilian. No. I might grab another rifle. For this. For that mission. We'll keep one guy with a MAG-10 in case I get close. <gasps> Are you gonna, do you have something worth me stealing? No. Like I would hope, if they did, I would like just aim for them to die at this point. So I can actually get that weapon. We should get their weapons even if, <laughs> even if they don't die. As payment for a rescue, a little a little XCOM blackmail. Never hurt anyone. Well, you guys with your bulletproof chitin. Forty-eight. Is that the closest one? Yeah, it is. I'll take you. I'm impressed by your accuracy there, Orange. Oh, hello. Speaking of keeping the MAC-10 around. <laughs> I 
All right, and you can. All right, Mr. Lightning, that's right. You are really new to the team, so your firing accuracy is rather poor. It's not very close. All right. We had that Mongorn mission with God knows how many Mongorns. That's our biggest one so far. Or the Vampire Lords. We didn't get around. We didn't stick around to see what else was in that Vampire Lord mission. All right. Three. I guess they're all 69, aren't they? Well, this will be good. Good for training. Agent Orange defying the odds. Now I'll let you react. Nice, nice. All right, people who don't need the accuracy will sit and react. People that do, not even close. Now that's how I expect 69% shots to go all the time. You can react. Actually, everyone can react, just react. Nice shot. Oh, I finished, uh, I finished a Revengeance today, Ethan. Oh, hello, friend. And as I said in Discord, I would have liked that game if it had a non-horrible camera. I think that's the thing that that kept me from really, really embracing that game. Like, most of the challenge was combating the camera. Alright. The boss fights were good. I agree. The everything in between was eh. Not the last one. All right, here we go. The the typical last alien running from us. I'm going to say even though you might not like the style of Bayonetta, the boss fights in that were also much better. If you can get past the style, it might be worth it. Well, their built-in me melee would be like dogs, yeah, or reapers, or or anything like that. They just can't drop it. It's technically part of the armor. Come, my friends. Quick, just no oh, anyone. Let me react. Do your thing. Uh, I think technically it is the stinger. Yeah, stinger. The sundowners fight. Was Sundowner the guy with, like, the big guy? No? You see him, but you can't shoot at him? Alright, that's fine. React, 
React, React. Aw, oh, he died. And you know, if you would just shoot at him. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, do I have the reaction training than the accuracy training? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you just fool! We had someone sneak up behind us after all this time. <laughs> you snuck up behind us and got a guy in the middle. What sneaky bastard! Well, now I need a live scorpion for that. That's just us getting lazy, or not a live scorpion. I deserve that. That's all right. Well, we'll keep action training. I know. My attempt to game the system backfired on me. If only it wasn't so important. I feel like the odds of this happening are so, like, the odds when it actually happens are so low. It just lulls you into a false sense of complacency. Yeah, let's get some more. Well, the early game is balanced really nicely for having these small teams. When we played Pirates, it wasn't quite there yet. That's still a positive score. Sorry about that, fool. But everyone else got really nice gains, so it's okay. And we have no use for that. This is just a money mission. 4136 grand. We, we quadrupled our money on that mission. Oh, Agent Fool with 20 kills. All right, we need a dog and this base too. We need more dogs. And let me uh, mark off this list. All right, and our next dog, oh, okay, yeah. Let's move you off the list. Oh, I would not want to do that. Move. Don't resize. Move. No, I want to insert it. There we go. My uh, Excel foo is so, so rusty. Oh, and we need dog armor. Most importantly. Alright, cult activity. What kind is it? Alright, the simple black lotus. Let, let the chartreuse team, the new guys, give it a go. It does look weird right now. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Because we are renting the car too, but it's just a nice little visual aid. Maybe uh, the car should just be like boxes of supplies and stuff. Mongorn Savage. First discovered in Mongolia, Mongorns roam the Eurasian plains in search of food and are very aggressive. Although not fully intelligent, Mongorns seem to understand most of what we communicate to them, but they always respond with aggression. It is unclear how such an unreasonable creature could survive in the wilderness at all. 
but it is possible that they were somehow conditioned to hate and attack humans whenever possible. These creatures are troublesome to deal with as their keen senses and animal cunning make them difficult to hunt from the air. That would be fun. That <laughs> Mutant physiology. That would actually be a nice little bonus to keeping the uh, stuff longer than normal. Alright, we are still working on the weapons that we uncovered since the last tech tier. Where's my chartreuse team? <laughs> it's a long drive. Alright, why did I buy more hazmat armor? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why. All right, what team was that? That was the green team. My dog en route? Did I not do that right? No, <laughs> Garfield. That's not a dog's name. Seven days later. All right, now we have general stores, which is good. Uh, for now, I'm going to save up for maybe for building an intelligence center in here so we can get a little boost to our global radar. All right, there's Garfield. And we can rename there he is Moody, Sir Dialot's puppy. Sir Dialot said this dog is game critical. If we lose the dog, the game is over. <laughs> I'm sure that'll happen. <laughs> I'll totally give up with that SDA. Alright, and he'll be on the next team. This is good. We'll be able to uh, update. We'll get our clones coming back real soon. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more to go, and one of them is a dog. Called activity. Nice and close. A safe house with Dagon. Did you just go? No, you're next in line, right? Yeah. Oops. One, two. Oh, we're going to break up the Swede and shot like. What is the dog? Oh, we can't see armor on the dog. That is a shame. Is it? Because do we have any stats for combat gear? I looked into Yopopedia and I didn't think I saw any of that. No. No, we missed that. Exalt. The Exalt is a clandestine organization mostly active in the Americas. It was founded by a group of powerful individuals with political connections and it appears to gain an upper hand in various criminal activities, like illegal drug distribution. Their signature trading goods are mental devices called cyclones, rumored to be highly psychoactive. There's little doubt that such devices have extraterrestrial origins and are probably highly dangerous. Did we miss anything? No. Nope. 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 Alright. So don't put armor on the dogs. Well, we'll try it with this guy. Just so we can at least see what it is. Dog in a safe house? What do you think? Dog in a safe house. Was it the red team? No. Uh, we gave you this. 
But for this crew, I think that is a nice setup. Where's your Tommy gun? Oh, someone else has it. Do we need any of them alive? Did I, did I just drop? Well, that's the real question. Well, Blackburn will give you the rifle just in case, and you got that. That'll be fine. What an interesting place for a safe house. <laughs> if their safe house is not like a nice little, oh, it's not an underwater temple looking building. I'm a little disappointed. Even if there are, there, even if it's not a stats for nerds armor entry, a summary would be good. Nice shot. Nice shot. All right, we want to get. Do we need to capture more of these? Uh, Dig on guys. Wherever they disappear to. Actually, that might be a good place to go up. Yeah, that would be, actually. <laughs> like it to capture you. You have a scary shotgun though. Oh, Blackbird is living up to his uh, his history. Twenty three, no reaction fire. Come on, no reaction. Excellent. If you're not gonna go anywhere, then I guess I'll just get you bleeding. Yes. Even better. It's shotgun party today. I'm impressed with that shot. Dick? Dick, you are earning, uh, you get yourself a steak dinner tonight. What do we got? Oh, you can see right inside, that is very nice. Pistol and more shotguns. Just one more step. Still bleeding. <laughs> we'll just let you bleed out. Oh, hello. Maybe if we just kill the uh, kill these guys quickly, the supporters. Maybe the followers can 
flip out. Maybe that's the plan. You're bleeding. Well, it's not bleeding, but still. Come closer, everyone. Fourteen percent. This group is like not wanting to get, leave their house today. But normally they just bum rush us. And you're also bleeding. No, I really want to hit you. You're blocked. That miraculous corner vision. Make sure that's a bleeding guy. Alright. So both of those guys are bleeding. Both disciples. Hey, Bolt Gun, how's it going? And welcome back, Bloodmasters. Oh, uh, we lost a guy to my laziness. But we made a lot of money in that mission, so in the end, it was a-okay. Okay, come forward a little bit. I don't think I can see through those anyways. Oh, and you guy. Yes. Yes. Alright, everyone just bleed. Everyone bleed. You just stay there and bleed. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, come on. Blackburn is well and truly a horrible shot. Doesn't matter what gun you give him. He'll miss. That's a good start. You have not dropped your gun yet. Wait, you are not bleeding. Neither are you. Yeah, that house is just not emptying out. Still bleeding. It's a slow burn. A very, very slow burn. There we go. Saved by your gills. Wow, that guy got a very uh, impressive hit on you. Remember the rule? <laughs> the rule about medkits? Alright. 
Nunez, you'll be okay to live another day. <laughs> or fight another day. That does preclude living. All right, you bled out. Oh, you bled out too. Excellent. Let's save that guy. What are the odds of him making that marvelous shot two times in a row? Do you have a mech hit too? I do. Excellent. Alright, that guy has a much better shot than I give him credit for. That guy's a really good shot. <laughs> Crazy good. With a bill hook in his offhand. Damn impressive. Where is your. I guess it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Harumph. Double harumph. Well, now that's an interesting bug. <laughs> he woke up, this guy, and I guess he couldn't spawn here, so he transported over here. Pretty impressive. Pretty darn impressive. Nothing for him to pick up right here, though. So I will just move you out of sight. Okay, I really don't want to kill you, but if you go and pick up that weapon, I'll be left with no choice. Oh, you're out of ammo for that, anyways. So be it. That was only a light pistol anyways. Well, I guess I can heal these guys too. How did you get more wounds? Or were you someone else? You must, oh yeah, you were someone else. Well. No picking up weapons for you. Aw, oh, man. Not cool, guys. Do the shuffle. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little worried there. have everyone panic. Alright, let's keep you alive since the other guy died. One, you panicked and you're bleeding. And you panicked. Hello, friend. We get the one hit. So I'm actually not worried about either of those guys. There's one guy in this building I remember seeing. I will move towards it. You, with a Sten, which is highly inaccurate. So I will risk my life on the inaccuracy of this weapon. That is true. Ah, oh, there we go. Five surrenders. Come on, bravery. Oh, man. <laughs> I totally thought we'd have bravery training on that one. All right, more MAC-10s. Excellent. A bolt action rifle. Also excellent. Did we have those? And six of these disciples. Mm -hmm. 
Well. I guess we'll sell all of the ones we captured. For some more cash. Although at this point, it's kind of like uh, kidnapping money, isn't it? Or we just look at it like bail. QBU-88. This designated marksman rifle made by Norinko is in service with Chinese army and police forces. Increased accurate snapshot range, increased one-handed penalty. Armor piercing 29. Cult arms dealers and Black Lotus operations. So it has no... Uh, oh, it might have a firing accuracy bonus. Maybe. I don't think it does. 29. I don't think we'll use that. We'll try one. And the big bone. Hey yo. Training finished for Agent Blackburn. Still can't hit anything, but he's apparently done with his, his training. <laughs> Wait, did we have two Agent Fluffies? No, who died in that last mission? There are four available. Francis York. And I guess I'll throw some of the wounded on there just so we don't forget for later. Who just died? Agent Fool, not Fluffy. All right. 36 soldiers lost so far. Okay. Crop circles reported. We don't need to do these anymore. Technically speaking. Probably don't want to bring the dog on this one. So we will do the green team. And assume that they might have shotguns. Uh, it's the first year. We started in, well, I think January 1st. Technically December something, 1996. Chartreuse team. All right, Chartreuse. Let's see how we do. All right, we can have, who's our strong? Oh, God, you're all so weak. <laughs> you're also very weak. All right. You can have one of those. All right, Mac 10s. And some light, so it's not on the ground. I'm like, that's literally all we can carry. Our most accurate guy, well, I guess we're really going to be doing. Take that. Take that. This might not work. Oh, we shall see. As long as we get all the light off the ground, we'll be good to go. All right. And there is a street light there. Oh, that is an expensive scanning device. All right, this is, oh, it is a safe house. So let's get you guys, we use the cave to our advantage. And give us a little bit more light over there. Next turn. Oh, hello, friend. Well, I don't have any way to stun you. But I might take your weapon, since it's here. I mean, that kind of works. Hold on, I do need more light over here. Of range. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> we blew up our car with the Mac 10. Well, guys, we're walking home again. This is a standard operating procedure for pirates. All 
Whoa. Wait. That is really freaking heavy. All right. So someone else has to pick up this <laughs> next turn. Just like the movies. Now you threw a knife at me. That is not cool, man. Not nearly as instantaneously lethal as they were in Pirates, though. So that is nice. That would have killed, like, the entire team in Pirates. need some light at the end of that hallway too. I know there's a guy right there and you'll have three reaction shots. Hey, wait a second. You know what? Maybe we found our answer to the lack of smoke grenades. This is all just... It's not a very dense smoke though. So that would probably be a bad idea to rely on it. Sixty-five. Can't quite go that far. Kind of do want light down here. Nope. Oh, this is uh, all right. That's that one. So the dog will go this way, and you can react you would like. Oh, you know, we didn't check. Okay. <laughs> All our of our meager gear is still here in existence, so we are okay. I think that is as far as they can see in the dark. Alright, combat gear gives me, just so we know, six front armor. It gives me side armor, which makes sense, and a little bit of rear armor, but not a lot. Not a lot. I don't know what it gives me, if it gives me any bonuses. I can't tell on the screen, can I? That was a surprisingly close shot for an Uzi snap. We are beating the odds with that. Oh, man. I need you to get close and then run bes behind the building. Oh, do the dogs have better night vision? I think they do. 16. Uh, no, we'll wait a turn. Oh, I found a ninja. Dog versus ninja. Tonight on Spike. Heck yeah. You're just hanging out there. Are you going to fall down the hole? Out of range because you are the weakest being ever alive. The dogs are the best. We we defended ourselves against cyber discs with a dog only base once <laughs> in FMP. Come on, come on. There we go. Playing King of the Hill. Alright, Philip Foss Jean, are you overloaded? You are, but just a little teeny bit. 
That's our problem. We need uh, Metagur Solid 5 dogs. Or I can have the uh, the stun rod on the dog. It's a default weapon. Oh no, Toki Wartooth is unconscious. Don't don't bleed out, buddy. Don't bleed out. That is a surprising amount of Mac Ten you survived. All right, next turn. I don't even have med kit, so we are on a timer. Oh, another door. Oh, look at all that fun stuff. <laughs> oh, we lost Toki. Wah wah. Victim of the chat to lay Bloodmasters. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this out of the way. Get all my time units back. I think you're in full dark. It's so hard to tell. Yep, dogs can definitely see farther at night. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> hello, friend. How are you? Well, that's that's a silly room. Oh, it's an outhouse. I see it. Look at all the toys. Doesn't really help, does it? In terms of being sneaky. Well, look at all them toys. Ooh, that looks like a sniper rifle. Darn it. Misclick. Death by misclick. That's something. I heard something. Aha. Man, that dog must have given him a really good morale boost because I'm surprised that they are not panicking yet. I will take... I'll take this. Not bad. You are a big M. Also a wooden club. Doesn't really help me right now. Oh well. If they see her, they see her. 
They are all distorties after all. With no time units to speak of. Pick that up next turn. How many are left? Well, less than two, or less than three. Wherever they're hiding. And we have no energy. So we might just sit in the dark for a second here. And recover it. Why, hello there. You might be the last guy. Get rid of that. Where are you? Yeah, stand the light, please. And come closer. You can do it. Nice. We lost a dog. That's alright, we got one more dog in the queue. <laughs> See you, Aro. What did we get? We got a Mauser, a Rack SMG, I think we've researched that. Yeah, we can sell those. SKS, an AKSU, Ooh. a micro AK-47, QBUs we're not going to use. Nitro Express, that sounds fun. And some more flare guns. Excellent. And the Katama is new as well. Surprise! Oh, the other ones had the Wakazashis. That explains it. Alright, so a little hideout for a team of rookies isn't so bad. Do we have room at the Citadel? No. Oh, Toki Wartooth. Find another dog. Oops, not for you. We'll have one extra dog. Black Ops submachine gun. This lightweight weapon fires 5.8 millimeter rounds, two grams, optimized for the short combat ranges of XCOM encounters and its fight with the alien threat. Fills the role of pistol and carbine easily, being able to fire accurately with one hand. Purchasing this weapon requires contacts Black Ops Industries. That's a really nice snapshot right there. That is an excellent snapshot. Or two full auto shots if you take a couple steps. All right, in terms of weapons, that is all the weapons. What do we got going? Advanced healing spray, giant spider, werewolf, military envoy. All right, we got these two things we will add to. And what is this one again? Ah, uh, crop circles. Okay. Alright, 1,200 points. It took us six months, but we're finally uh, breaking 1,000 points per month. It's a shame there's no influence bonus. Plus 10% income. And a balance of 1 million. Alright. Let us, what month is it? October. Let's see. October 1997. I think I got my first car in October 
All right, I want to, what do we have money for? I should probably build a bio lab here. Let's uh, get our research up one more and we're going to build an intelligence center here so that we have a little bit better radar detection. And we'll get five more scientists, which will be nice. And then we could focus on these guys getting the... Let me lag. On the prisoners, and you can do the non-prisoner stuff. And can I also build... How much is a gym? 140? Let's get a gym here as well. Oh, that takes forever. All right, now we're broken again. Congratulations, everyone. Hopefully we'll get new missions because we got that new research done. All right, crop circles. I do not like these missions at all. Two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Six. And six. Alright, that's nice. I thought the intelligence center was just like an extra five research slots. Plus the radar stuff. Did I did I hit you? I did. All right, one, two, unarmed, excellent, three, unarmed, excellent. All right, I like that. Well, have you seen the scout UFOs? <laughs> Stairs. Doesn't matter, you're unarmed anyways. Oh, that would have saved us so much time. Hold on, did I read that wrong? Making me think about it. Intelligence Center. Workspace for five additional scientists and allows the base to conduct intelligence related research. Yeah, so I can research other things in it. I'm using a small, I'm using it as world radar as it is. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> you always do that. I am not here to hurt you. Eh. Maybe we can sell the farmers. 30 grand 30 grand, right? It's not. Global detection is just a radar the size of the planet with a very, very low chance to to find stuff. So think of it that way. A very large but not powerful radar. K9. That's a good name for a dog. Alright, so this dog's name is. Let's see, it's Cairo if you are uh, from everywhere in the world except Southern Illinois. In Southern Illinois, it's called Cairo. Gam Chop is Dick Tower's dog. All 
Alright, and I need to get another one of these. I want to see the difference in the dog combat gear versus no combat gear. That's a good yeah, I like that. I like that. This scrounging the internet, and you have not even made it back to base yet? The Wakizashi. Melee 30. In feudal Japan, a wakizashi was carried along with katana as a complementary weapon. Today it's mostly used as a katana light, sharing many of its strength, but more comfortable to handle and carry. Uh, armor plus 20%, a nice little melee bonus. I don't see us using very many melee, at least offensively. We just don't have the energy for it, or a good way to get that energy back. All right, let's throw uh, another guy on Chief Engineer Recruitment. Go to base. All right, so... What does it give me? <laughs> Just a little armor, I take it. The weight didn't seem to be an issue. What if I do it this way? Well, the combat gear has no weight. So, I'm going to say I see no reason not to use it. Oops. Go back here. The car is still not home. Oh, did you? Awesome. I've, I have stems. Big bone. A strange bone found in the caves. Perhaps from a dinosaur. <laughs> Thanks. Great. <laughs> Thanks for all that research. All right, let's get... We got two in each of those. That Reaper Terrace is going to sit there forever. Yeah, it was booze. It was, it was booze run or the the grog running. All right, we do need to get rid of. We need to clear out. Well, we're researching all our live aliens, so let's I gotta work on these guys. Let's start with. Get the eggs, the oh siren out of there since we got both of our black ops researched. Does it change energy regen? Hey, Karn. How are you doing? Alright, this is a very slow month. I don't like that for income purposes. A giant spider. A giant spiders are solitary hunters, but are capable of social behavior during mating season. They are as fast and deadly as small hunting spiders, and clever enough to prey on common animals like pigs, large snakes, or tapirs. Their weak point seems to be fire, and they hate smoke due to their energy requirements. All right, we got two done that time. Keep working on these. Want to clear out almost all of these if we can. All right. Good job on your first mission, guys. It was well done. We got some more stuff that we can go ahead and throw on here. I know, I know. They got throwing knives now. Uh, let's send these over to the other base. Katana, at least one of each. Alright, we have 10 more minutes left. Mm 
Crop circles. Oh man. They keep giving me crop circles. So not the dogs again. Sorry, blue team. Send the green team out this way. Strange life form. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we got. No chupacabras, please. And cold. Oh, excellent. What do you put you guys? Let's make sure you have armor. Chartreuse key? Is it another safe house? Oh. Alright, we'll do it. We could utilize all four of my vans. I now feel very vindicated. Alright. Yes. Yes. Agent Orion. You know what? We haven't really used a shotgun a lot, so you can go ahead and keep the shotgun equipped. Welcome back, Aro. And in your offhand. Is this lighter? Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> no, not really. This lighter? Nope. That's heavier. Here, that's fine. Alright, we have that one again. Hello, dog. Alright, I hate doing these missions on turn one and not knowing what we're fighting. Oh, more scorpion. Not the best mission for a dog, but we will make it do. Not the best mission for a shotgun either. No line of fire, my butt. Yeah. Pretty easy. Fifty-three. Hmm. Love when they chuck off those bullets. <laughs> Love it. Regardless, regardless of what I say. Oh, it's not. Oh man. All right. Yeah, pocket clutches seem to be the way to go. Try those. Those are nice in the pocket as well. Moody? Moody? What do you think? I feel like scorpions have high dodge. <laughs> I don't know why they would, but it feels that way. Let's go over here and just hang out with the civilian. Hey, Arthur, how's it going? Yes, we are almost done. All right, dog time. Since they are now trainable. Nice. Go moody. 
plus three melee, plus two strength. That like maxes out his strength right away, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. <laughs> Agent. Agent Moody. I think that maxes out his strength. Alright, very good. Oh, I... Well, so, like, if you look down on the page, what time do my nighttime streams happen for you? And also, that's what she said. Can I give a dog a med kit? Can I give a dog a med kit? <laughs> Can I drain his bravery? Alright. Yes, that is a good place to stop. We have you and you going. Rookies versus... Which safe house is this? Exalt safe house. So I'll get some cyclone for that. Alright, then we'll end the stream here. Thank you all very much for watching. We had a pretty productive mission today. Sorry, Agent Fool. You have died. You'll be back soon, though. We will actually start getting... Well, if you scroll down on the Twitch page, it'll do the time zones for you. There is uh, an upcoming event calendar below the buttons. So you should be able to see it there. And that one will be in your time zone. Otherwise, it's Central Daylight. Uh, tomorrow's stream will be Darkest Dungeon. And then back Wednesday evening. And we'll be trying to get the shop streams in. I know the schedule's really weird. I might be getting a babysitter back this week. If not, hopefully next week. So that said, again, thank you for watching. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Adios. Thank you.